Welcome to the project. Welcome back. That's our feature story tonight, and we meet an Aussie thrill seeker who's made a living from staring death in the eye. But his success has come at a price. It's the high octane sport that literally has hearts racing. You hit that accelerator, the car takes off, and you know just pure adrenaline running through your veins. Drag racing draws in millions of spectators each year. Sarah Lamartina has spent half a lifetime watching her husband cheat death. You panic and you don't want to think of things going wrong, so you just try and stay positive and, yeah, hope that everything goes well. There's a lot of accidents that do happen and they look bad, but um, drag racing is very safe. He's far from Lamartina! Oh, my goodness gracious me! Big moment for Catalano! There is no second chances, do or die. Phil's first big crash was in 2007. Miraculously, he walked away with little more than a scratch. He was sitting there fine, like as if he was ready to race, pretty much. Not having any injuries, I thought that maybe I was a little bit bulletproof. But the near tragedy did force a rethink for the father of four. I did question if I wanted to do it again. She did say at the end of the day, it's your decision. And he said, I've, I've got to go back. I've got unfinished business. You know, what's the chances of, you know, lightning striking twice? With Sarah at his side, Phil went on to win two Australian championships. But six weeks ago, his luck ran out. The weather was just absolutely glorious. The crowd was massive and the car took off and it was like a rocket. I remember that run, it was just like bang. It all was looking good till about, you know, just after half track. The car went phew. That is not meant to happen. That is not good. I actually told myself, no, no, not again. I can't believe it. It was not meant to happen again. Phil hit the wall at nearly 500 kilometres an hour, knocking himself unconscious. For a period of time there, there was a chance that, you know, I was dead. Fearing he'd broken his back, paramedics rushed Phil to hospital. They have the average person come in with Phil's injuries from a car accident and they don't walk again. His son saw the whole thing. I was actually in the stands and it was freaky. So I'm there slapping myself and saying, no, this is, a, this is a dream. You know, that period of time that he didn't know what was going on was probably pretty harrowing for him. That's when he thought, you know, what have I done to them? It's not something they should have to witness. Phil would later learn he'd crushed two of his vertebra. It could have been a lot worse, and we were told it could have been a lot worse. So, you know, we've got to count our lucky stars, I think. The crash gave Phil a moment of clarity. The realisation of a uh, young family. I wasn't going to chance the fact that I could have been, you know, next time I could be dead. He just said, I'm not coming back here again. I think she was pretty happy with the decision. Very happy with the decision, I think. I won't deny that. Again, I wasn't going to be the one to tell him that I want him to stop, but I knew when he was stretched into that ambulance, I knew straight away that he was done. With the stresses of racing behind them, the Lamartinas are now looking forward to spending more time together as a family. Fast gaining a reputation for defying the odds, Phil says he's had a secret weapon the whole time. It's always been Sarah, you know, she's been the strength, the rock, whatever you want to call it. I know that I can rely on her, I don't even have to worry about that. Wow. And it's interesting that, that Phil maintains it's a safe sport. He said if it wasn't for the safety mechanisms that are in the car, that he wouldn't be alive today. It's really so... not as dangerous as surfing, is it? I mean, <laughs> no. <laughs> but he's so lucky to be alive. Oh. That car broke, it broke in half. It was incredible. And you know his family were carrot farmers. Oh, really? There must have been a point at which he thought, you know, what the hell was wrong with carrot farming? <laughs> <laughs> you might go back to it still, but...